In the top stories, government working on new options for economic and social empowerment. Trinidad and Tobago Medical Association hosts 28th Annual Medical Research Conference and Queen Elizabeth's Coffin arrives in Edinburgh. Hello and welcome to the ZIZ Midday Newscast. Today is Monday, the 12th of September 2022. I'm Jason Davis. Nationally, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis is currently working on new options for economic and social empowerment and development by creating avenues for investment planning that will focus on new growth areas, including agrotechnology, high-end tourism, and specialized manufacturing. This was addressed at a meeting held recently on Tuesday, September 6, when the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, Minister of Economic Development, along with Minister of Sustainable Development, the Honorable Dr. Joyal Clark, met with senior staff members within her ministry to discuss ways in which both ministries can create synergies or collaborations between economic planning in sustainable development and investment planning in each of the respective ministries. Dr. Clark noted that the ministries will work alongside the Minister of Agriculture to assist particularly in tackling the invasive monkey problem among other areas. The St. Kitts National Youth Parliament Association has elected a new executive. Following the group's annual general meeting on Sunday, Morial Knight, Malachi Ferguson, Duana Bradley and Jalen Monzak were re-elected to their positions of President, Vice President, Secretary and Treasurer. Hassani MacDonald has been elected to serve as Public Relations Officer according to a press release. Special mention was made of Patrice Harris, Hanif Charles, Carissa Roberts, Leanne Knight, Azri Lybird and Devon Cornelius who are leaving as general members of the association. The President recognized and thanked them for their years of service to, the, to Skanaipa. Featured speaker, Skanaipa alumnus, Honorable Iseline Phillip, who is the Junior Minister of Youth Empowerment, spoke of the impact the group has had on her and on the nation, having developed persons who have assumed national offices. She encouraged the current members to continue doing the work that they are doing. Moving now to news on the regional scene, delivering medical care in the post-pandemic era was the focus of the Trinidad and Tobago Medical Association Research Committee's 28th Annual 